You know, someday I'm going to be a pro farmer playing this game. I could see myself playing it for a long time. Uh, you know, so someday I'll be good, and then I'll think back to these first few episodes and just kind of roll my eyes and go, man, I <laughs> was such a noob. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to pick up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, it is uh, not even 8.30 in the morning yet because I have the time turned down to 1x. Uh, so we finished that um, haying job in the last, uh, well, last couple of episodes because it took me so long to do it. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Our first order of business for today is we need to get our tractor cleaned up. It is a mess. Uh, and it's kind of in rough shape, too. So it looks like we've unhitched from that. So I believe what we have to do is go on over to this little area over here. And this is where we can get it uh, repaired and washed and all that kind of stuff. Okay. We'll hop out of here. And then we go over to this thingy. Okay, so that's in pretty good condition. That's in pretty good condition. This is in terrible condition. So it's going to cost us, wow, 6000 to repair it. My word. That's expensive. No, we're not repainting the doggone thing. All right. But we got to repair it. Okay. So, so it's just going to stay dirty? Is there not an option to just wash it? Really? And it's going to cost $18,940? you got to be kidding me. We should be able to just hose it down. Wow. Okay. I guess we're going to have a dirty tractor for a while. There's no way I'm paying that much money to do that. Good Lord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we wanted to, in this episode, we wanted to start thinking about getting some land. Tell you what, though, before we do that, uh, we are going to do that. That is definitely the plan. Um, let's take a look first at the sales and the contracts. All right, so what's for sale today? A Load King Distinction Super B trailer. All right, uh, that looks like a pretty nice setup. However, uh, we cannot afford that, not even close. Okay, so we checked the vehicle sales. Um, so let's go to the... Oh, F1 removes that thing, too. I'm, I'm going to start, you know, re not keeping that up all the time. Um, So, oh, I keep forgetting, when you press tab, it puts you on your vehicle. Okay, so let's go to the contracts, and I just want to see... Okay, we got some more bailing. I mean, we, we could make some decent money doing this. We really... I need to practice. <laughs> you guys are going, you think... I need to practice bailing. We've been doing a lot of work for Samuel uh, Samuel Ortega. Well, we did our first two contracts for him anyways. And then Adri uh, Adriana Hooper, um, she's paying 6000 So we're talking field 14 and field 15 to do both of those. This one is suggesting a larger windrower. I th well, no, I guess that's the same windrower that we have too. So you don't obviously you don't have to go specifically with this equipment, but it's just giving you the the basic stuff that you're going to need to do it. Okay, so if, if we could knock both of these out, you know that's that's over ten grand, and it won't cost us anything to do that because we have all of the equipment already. Uh, let's look at the fields though. So field fourteen and field fifteen, and hold, those should be right next to each other too. So that's even better. Um, where are those going to be at? Oh, those are tiny. Those are even smaller. This is the one we did last time. Yeah, those are those are just little dinky fields for that that kind of money. I think we should do that, you guys. 
I, and like I said, I need to practice my haying anyways. <laughs> Uh, okay, we are going to accept that contract, and we're going to accept this contract. And they both, okay, this one goes to Johnson's Farmer's Market, but this one goes back to the animal deal like we did yesterday. All right, well, um, there is one thing I was thinking, though, thinking about doing, and that is, uh, I mean, you know, we got the, we got the bale spikes to work, but... I still kind of struggled with it a little bit, so I'm just wondering if we should spend a little bit more money and go to Front Loader Tools and get ourselves an actual bona fide bale lifter. Now, there's also this thing. It's $5,000, but... How exactly does this thing work, even? It looks like you you scoop. It's a front loader attachment. Uh, it, so, yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm not really sure. I can't tell from looking at it. It's got spikes down here. So it looks like you... You know, maybe you get a couple of bales in there and then you, these clamp around it. But because it's so high, that would seem to suggest that you could do, you know, you could stack multiple. But I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, like I said, how that would actually work. Huh. I'll have to, I'll have to see if I can find a video or something on, on how this actually works. Uh, but anyway, so I'm thinking, I, I wonder if this guy, can pivot. I don't think it can. And the reason I'm asking that is because then you could place the bales on the end so they don't roll as easy. But oh, you know this okay, no, that's just the hydraulic arm. This would probably be the easiest thing to use. I mean, this probably wouldn't be too hard to use either. I'm assuming that these these guys here probably, you know, widen out a little bit. And then you just get underneath it, you pick it up, you lift it right on the trailer. Um, and, you know, that could potentially be even faster than this, maybe. It's just that, man, I had such a hard time yesterday not getting, you know, things lined up. And then it was pushing the bale away from me and all that kind of business. A manure fork. Now, I saw someone else also using this bale spear and that's only 600 that's kind of the same idea of what we were using except for that it's um it's got three spikes instead of two first of all and they were actually using it to stack you know like two and three high pretty effectively uh so that you know that's a possibility too Except for, you know what, though? I don't know. This this might not fit on a front loader. I'll bet you it doesn't because it's not in the front loader tools. So we probably need something. Uh, we need a skid steer or skid steer loader. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. So we probably better not mess with, with that right now. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, I mean, neither one of these are that expensive. We could try both of them out, I guess, and see which one we like the most. Um. So why don't we do that? Why don't we lease both of these and we'll try them both out and then whichever one I like the most I'll 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 end up buying. Um uh, so if we do that, how much does it cost to lease this? Yeah, I mean we're talking nothing at all. Let's just do it. Okay. So we're gonna lease this, and we're also gonna lease this one. And we'll try them both out, and then whichever one I like the most is the one that we'll end up purchasing. I <laughs> How much does this cost to lease? I mean, even that's not very expensive, but I'd like to figure out how this works first before I commit to something like this. Because it's not super apparent to me. I mean, obviously these things clamp shut, but, you know, did the bales stack or something? I'm really not sure. So I'll have to see if I can figure that one out. Uh, but let's just try these 
these guys first and yeah we'll go from there okay so we're going to uh drop off our bale spike um and try these other implements out instead so let's just put this over here for now Um, all right, so I've got to press G to switch to that and then Q to unattach it. Okay. Oh, how am I... S can I move these by hand? Well, that's... That's no good. Well, we should be able to get to that one. I'm a little bit irritated that we can't wash the tractor, or maybe we can. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. Okay, so that just lifts up like that. Oh, well, <laughs> we just solved the problem of getting that thing out of the way. All right, so that tilts. They're, okay, so the right mouse button opens the arm. So we just get over the bail, we do that, and then we just lift it. And it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't go anywhere because it's you know it's going to hold it in place. So I, I like that idea. All right, so let's set this uh, down here, and let's try this other one. Okay, so you, you got the same, same tilt. Okay, so these do go wide. All right, so that would make it, that would make it easier to pick the bale up. And then, huh, it goes all the way in like that. Interesting. But for this one, you know, we're just basically going to use it like so. We just scoop the bale up like that and then lift it up. Um, bring it back and then put it on the trailer. I have the feeling like this one might be a little faster if we can get good enough to use it. So, alright, well, the first thing we got to do is, of course, go to our fields and get all the other stuff done first. Now, did these guys... You know what I didn't check? I should have. Mow the grass, bale the grass. Okay, so he does want silage bales. That's good. Oh, she wants... A, a, okay, she wants actual hay. All right, that's not... I mean, in the long run, that's not a bad thing because we're going to have to get a tether and a normal bale anyways. Or, I'm sorry, normal baler anyways. All right. Well, let's do let's do the Samuel's first because we already have all the stuff um, to do the the silage bales, and then we'll we'll have to get the other stuff uh, afterwards. All right. So let's get hooked up with our mower. Um, we probably if we lift this up, does this have forks built into it? doesn't appear to um can we keep this connected and still get the mower on let's see i don't see why not look at that okay it would obstruct our vision just a little bit you know in the first person view but i don't think that's a problem uh, because 
you know, we can just keep the thingy on there and then we don't have to worry about taking it off and on. Okay, so let's get backed up here. All right, so once again, um, we are gonna do field 15 first for the silage bales. So let's head on up there and get her done. Uh, since you guys saw, oh, actually we don't even have to get on the highway, we just go this way. Since you guys you know, saw me go through this process yesterday, I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably just show you you know, portions of it, maybe do a little bit of time lapse with some music. And, um, and then, you know, I'll probably show you more of the second job just because we're going to have to do some, some new steps with that one. So yeah. All right. Well, enjoy the time lapse, enjoy the music, and I'll, I'll see you guys, uh, at the end of it. And hopefully it doesn't take me half the day. <laughs>
All right, guys, we are ready to pick up the bales from our first uh, uh, field here. Uh, these are the silage bales that we're going to take to the animal feeding drop-off point. So let's go ahead and park our trailer right here. And we're going to try out this new uh, bale picker upper thingamadoodle. Um, so <clears throat> I've got a... So right mouse button lateral is what moves that. Left mouse button lateral is what moves that. Okay. So this is my very first time working with this thing, but I gotta think it's gonna be a little bit easier than you know the the spear thingy we <laughs> that we were using was. Okay, so just gotta get this lined up. Okay, um, I'm going to bring this menu back up. So, yeah, it looks like we have to work this with the mouse. And we'll go a little bit more this way. Okay, and then we clamp it with this and lift it up like this. All right. Now let's back up this way. I wonder if there's a way we could pick it up the other way, just you know, so that it's um sitting on the flat spot and not the round spot. So here, let's. All right, why isn't it letting me drop that? It's because it's too high up. Hmm, it's not letting me open the... Does it have to be on the ground? It's not letting me work the fork. You know, the, the pincher thing. What the heck? I can do that. Are these bales too big for this thing? Oh man, nothing's ever easy. <laughs> okay. Let's get that on there. Yeah, I don't know. Um All right, guys, I think that the big bag lifter thingy that I was looking at was from an older version of Farm Sim, and I, I don't know if the new ones would be able to, to do that. Um, but I also found out that you can actually change these to spikes, too. It still does everything else. You can lift it high onto the trailer, but, but it's two spikes. But you also, you know, you have the ability to, uh, you know, manipulate the arm better than than this thing does <clears throat> so that might actually be useful uh to, to do that now one thing we could try is we could temporarily lease uh this because it's not going to cost us any money at all and just see if we can hook a strap up to it to lift those up. I mean, I don't know how much is it going to cost us to lease this. Oh, nothing. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. And this may not work. I don't know. Maybe they made it so you can't use it anymore in, in Farm Sim 22. But let's just give it a try. Um, and I think if that doesn't work, we're going to return the one that we currently have, and we're going to buy it. But I, th I might buy it in the spike configuration. Because then we kind of have the best of both worlds, you know? All right, so let's drop that. And let's just see if this bag handle will work. Because, you know, if if we can strap it, you know, then we, then we don't have to worry about it falling off, right? So let's lower that. All 
All right, now let's come up to the bale. Now, I think there's... All right, isn't there supposed to be a way to... to strap, have a strap appear or something? Maybe you have to... Get right over it? Yeah, actually, here, I want I want that to... Now, can we get down over it like this? Do we have to get out and cut open bale, enter? Now nah, it doesn't look like that. that's going to do anything. So my guess is maybe uh, the Giants removed the ability to, to use a, a bag handler for bales. Uh, unless, again, I'm doing something wrong, which is always possible, right? Okay, well, let's just return this thing then. And we're going to return, actually, we're going to return both those. We're going to buy that thingy because it seems like that's really our best option since that other thing seems to be broken. Uh, let's go to leases and let's return both of these. That didn't cost us very much money to at least check those out for a couple of moments. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, now we'll go to tools. Actually, is there any, yeah, that no, no news, uh, new sales there. Okay, let's go to front loader tools, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this. And so, yeah, see, we can make it a, a, a bale spike, and it still will give us the same functionality as before, but also we can, you know, um, impale people with this. <laughs> okay, this time we're going to buy it. We're not going to lease it. Okay, that is our means of picking up bales for, for the time being. Until I can afford the better baler, bale picker upper thingamadoodle. It's too expensive for us right now, though. Okay, let's get this thing and put it on here. Should be able to just stab that guy, lift him up, and I don't think he's going anywhere. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the trailer and we'll get that thing loaded up. Okay, so let's lower this down, um, keep it wide, and then uh, see if we can do a little bit better job today of loading our trailer than we did yesterday. Okay. And that, sh we should be able to just lift that, st uh, well, no, we gotta, yeah, we gotta pinch it first. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> the camera's like, yeah. Okay, we'll drop that down there and expand the, wait, yeah, expand those out. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a little better than it was last time. All right, let's get the rest of them.
You know, there is another thing we could try, now that I think about it. If we get these way up in the air... We were doing this yesterday. And then... Uh, do this. Hmm. Hmm. That idea has merit. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is let's make sure that's all the way down. And we're just going to kind of try and get the bales more or less along the center of the trailer. There we go. Okay. Nudge this one over a little bit too. Whoa. Overcorrecting as usual. They don't have to be perfectly in the center, but I'd like to get them somewhat close. Nice. All right, I'll meet you at the uh, at the animal place. Oh, we are forgetting one very important thing, aren't we? Straps. <laughs> oh, okay. So we want to make sure too that we don't. Uh, well, I guess that doesn't do any good, does it? We'll just do it anyway, I guess. I don't know why. There we go. Yeah, I think those are definitely going to ride a lot better than the ones from yesterday, even though we actually didn't have any trouble getting the ones from yesterday to the destination. Okay, I'll see you guys over at the animal place. Okay, we're here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and undo our straps. Try not to uh, unsilage the bales this time. And uh, let's deliver the bales. All right, so, the, so now it says the contract is finished, and I still have two bales left over. So, uh, again, uh, I, can only, I can only guess that these are extra bonus for me, maybe, or something. I really don't know. It seems odd. Definitely not complaining about it, but, yeah, it just seems a little weird. But I welcome the extra money, that's for sure. By the way... Um, I still haven't seen anybody's comments yet. I haven't released the first video yet. Um, I'm planning on releasing it tomorrow on June the 15th. I'm recording this on the 14th. Uh, and I just mentioned that in case you guys have left me comments and it seems like I'm not paying attention to your comments. It's just because I haven't seen them yet. But I'm looking forward to, uh, to your comments for sure. 
All right. Let's grab this guy, get him picked up. Yeah, I really, I'm doing a lot better with this fork than the other one, but you know, now that I'm getting a little more used to it, I probably could also use that other one better now too. Okay, so we, uh, yeah, we got, we made over a thousand bucks on just those two bales. Money in our pocket, baby. Love it. All right. So we're going to take our trailer back to the field and then um, we're going to go to back to the machine shop and we got to look at a tether and a normal baler. So I will meet you guys back at the machine shop. Okay, guys, we are uh, we're back at the uh, the shop here. Uh, so we need a tether and we need a baler. Oh, we also need to turn in our contract too. So let's do that first. So we'll go to contract completed and um, space for collect. There we go. Contract income. We're up to two hundred seventy thousand dollars. All right, awesome. We're gonna turn right around and spend all of that now. <laughs> Um, so we want tools and we want balers. Okay, so I think this little Massey Ferguson baler does the small square bales. Yeah, like the little 120 centimeter jobs. I also think, I think we can actually pick those up by hand, which means we could load the trailer just ourselves. Um, I'm just trying to think. If we want to do that, though, because, uh, yeah, I don't know. That might that might be too much work. Uh, so now we have this Pottinger baler, and it does 125 centimeter bales. This does 125 to 180, so we can reconfigure it. The the Kloss Uniwrap, which is what we already own, does 125 centimeter bales. Okay. That's what we're already working with. So, um, the advantage this one has over the other one, obviously, is that it can do larger bales. But I'm not sure why we would do that unless we had a huge hay field. You know, we would make more money, I'm assuming, off of larger bales. This is 48000 here. Wheel setup. Yeah, I. Eh, so okay, so this is almost ten thousand dollars more. What other differences are there? This requires a hundred horsepower. It can go at ten miles an hour. I don't know what this AW three hundred nine TS ten business means. I'm not sure what that means. Hundred horsepower, ten miles an hour. Hundred horsepower, ten miles an hour. So that part's the same. This is three point seven tons. This is oh, this is heavier. Okay, not that that really matters to us so much. It would matter if we had a smaller tractor. What does this TS-10 AW309 business mean? T-404, T-510. Oh, are those... Uh, are those the different configurations? I don't see an option to change that configuration here either. Maybe it's something you do directly on the baler. Okay, and then I think anything beyond that's just going to be more money than we want to spend right now. Yeah, it just gets, uh, oh, nice bumper. Uh, it gets just more and more expensive from there. Okay, well, um, why don't we just, I think we're just going to go with this Pottinger. That seems to make the most sense to me. And we are, well, here's the other thing, though. Should we lease this equipment since we're going to be doing silage more than normal hay? But not all, not necessarily. I mean, in the long run, we're going to want to be able to do our own hay too for our own critters. So now nah, let's let's just buy it. Let's just buy it. Okay. So there's no configuration here other than you know changing tires and stuff. But I don't think that really matters. We can't change that. Okay. Yep. Here we go. 
Now we have a normal baler. Okay, next thing we want to do is go to tethers. Um, so basically these are like rakes that just flip the grass over so it can dry out. And again, probably for now, <laughs> look at that thing, man. It's just huge. Um, let's just go with the Pottinger for now. And yeah, I think that's what we should do. So no configuration here. It's not too terribly expensive. I mean, it's the cheapest one they got. And it looks like it's going to work very similar, similar, similarly. Oh boy, I butchered that, didn't I too? To our windrower. Okay, nice. So we got, now we have all of the equipment that we need to make hay. Uh, both silage bales and normal bales. Cool. Um, okay, so here's our Pottinger baler. And, well, we're going to have to take that out first, of course. I really would like to find the, the pressure washer thingy, too. Let's look for that again for a second. So, it's, it's not under objects. What are packs? Animals. Is, is this, I don't know what a pack is. What's a pack? Oh, so it's like a collection of stuff to buy together. I guess if you wanted to buy like a whole hay setup, for example. Yeah, that must be what that means. Okay. Huh, interesting. Anything change here? No. These are what that's what we own. We're not leasing anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is this is where I was told that we can find the the power washer thing. Oh, these are buildings and stuff too. Okay, cool. So I guess would it be under production? No, that's like production facilities. Can't imagine it would be under buildings. Decoration. No, probably not that. Landscaping? What does that do? Sculpting, painting, trees, plants. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, neat. We'll have to play around with that later. So we can like plant. Oh, that is cool. I like that. All right. That is really cool. Silos, extensions, containers, tools. What's this? With this machine, you can clean dirty vehicles. That's the one. Okay. It's 4,500 bucks. Does it have to be near a water source? A weather station, a vehicle workshop. There's some really cool stuff in here. A weighing station. Okay. Do I just... Oh, you got to put it on land that you own. Oh. Well, crap. It doesn't, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to wash our tractor until, until we uh, own our own land. Okay, well, at least we know how to do that now. And... Yeah, okay. Well, let's get back to making hay this time. Hay is basically grass that's dried out. And it's also alfalfa and other stuff too, but this game doesn't have alfalfa in it. I don't know why. You'd think they would, but I guess they figured we could all get our hay on just fine with grass. Maybe future versions will have alpha alpha in it. All right, I'll meet you guys at the property. Um, and, well, you know what? Actually, I'm probably just going to do this time lapse, guys, because it's not it, it's going to be exactly the same as our other baler, except for, you know, sans the wrapping part of it. So, yeah, let's just do this one time lapse. Then we'll come back. We'll get the tether. The tether's going to be new, so we'll, I'll do that one with you. All right, guys. Um, I forgot that we have to do the tedding first before we can... Uh, uh, do the the hay so or, or the baling rather so i have no idea how this works i mean i, I have a general idea i guess but i've never used it before 
Um, so let's give this a try. We'll bring up the help menu. Uh, first, we've got to unfold it. Okay, and then we turn it on. And we lower it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, uh, were we supposed to do this before we rent wind road? Mm. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, you know what? I needed the wind rowing practice, so there you go. I needed the wind rowing practice. This is oh, this is easy though, actually. Piece of cake. Yeah, nothing, nothing really to this. We'll just kind of go um, every other swath here, and then we'll zig zag back around. Because this is all going to be spread out nice and evenly, we should be able to make a little bit nicer windrows too when it's all said and done. At least that's the theory. I guess in the game too, this instantly turns to hay. Uh, in real life, it would it would take you know several days for it to to dry out and in, in, into you know sufficiently to make bales out of it. And I guess some farmers will you know do this more than once too. That really looks neat though. They've done such a good job with this game. Okay. Let's go over and do this row here. Okay, that was quick and easy. Nice. All right, let's turn it off and fold it up. All right, guys, I'm going to go back, get the windrow, and bring it back out here. Um, and then we'll do a time lapse on the windrowing and the baling. So I will, um, and maybe probably even the loading too. Yeah, so we'll do all of that, and then I'll bring you guys back um, for the delivery of the hay bales. So I'll see you in a bit. On the road, headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country, past old timey scenes Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you written in a message in black thrown in a van to thousand miles back a better time and how many souls and times that I've told the places it had want to be and how many days when I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And giving we make time I'll meet you down the line mm. A long coat Walking on a New York street A pack of crushed cigarettes That fell to her feet Well ain't it odd How some people meet But that's the truth And 
two pictures buried in a guitar case Underneath the music sheets all over the place I caught a glimpse of the sweetest girl's face I ever knew And how many souls and times that I've told Places that had lacked to be And how many days When I could have stayed Instead of just getting up to leave And giving we make time I'll meet you down the line And all the days from now to then If they never seem to come or to go Will find me in your memories That keep you from getting so low And given we make time Meet you down the line Down the line we'll Meet up down the line Alright guys, we are at Johnson's Farmer's Market and it looks like this is where we're going to drop our bales off. So let's just pull right on through here. Disconnect that. So apparently these straps will hold anything down on this trailer even if they're not visibly actually holding them down. Uh, which is good to know. Um, so, you know, I could have, I wanted to drop my, um, windrower back off because, you know, I was afraid it would fall off the back of the trailer, uh, but it, apparently it would have been fine, but didn't know that until now. So, yeah, we're just getting a little smarter each time we play this game. Uh, at least that's the hope, right? Okay, let's go ahead and drop off these bales here. We only got three bales out of that field, too. You know, the funny thing is, is that this contract pays more than the other one and we got more bales out of the other one so I don't know not sure exactly why that is but maybe it's because we had to go further with this not that we had to go that much further but not really sure nevertheless let's finish this job we didn't quite get that other one did we okay oh we did look at that we just <laughs> We're just barely hanging on to that thing. They probably want us to drop it off right here, I'm guessing. All right, let's uh, get up in the air. All right, it says we're finished and gives us an extra bail. Wow, okay. Well, I'm starting to kind of get used to that being the way things work. I still don't understand why. Maybe you guys have already explained that to me in the comments. Because remember, I haven't seen the comments yet. I, I, the first video if, will be released tomorrow. And then I'll start seeing your comments. All right, let's get around this way. Oh. All right, we <laughs> we just barely get, barely have a hold of that thing too, but I guess we have a hold of it. Oh my goodness! You know, someday I'm gonna be a pro farmer playing this game, 
I could see myself playing it for a long time. Yeah, see, we we'll, we only get half the money on these bales as the silage ones. Very interesting. Um, it's good to know. If we want to make bales for the purpose of selling, we sh we definitely shouldn't be making hay. We should be making silage. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was I'm pl probably going to be playing this game for a long time. I'm just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, you know, so someday I'll be good, and then I'll think back to these first few episodes and just kind of roll my eyes and go, man, I, <laughs> I was such a noob during those first few episodes. Okay, let's grab our trailer here. And uh, let's also go here... And we're gonna we're gonna call. Uh, I guess we don't know what her name is now. Too bad it still doesn't show their name. But we're gonna call what's her face and say, "Hey, we finished the contract." So we call her up. She says, "Yep, I, I you did a good job, and uh, I'll uh, wire transfer you the money." Right? Okay. So there we go. Boom. And oh wow, there aren't any more contracts. So we are. Uh, we're sitting at two hundred twenty-one thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars, and so you know, we, and and we bought more equipment too. That's the thing, and we even leased us some equipment too. So we're doing pretty good. I mean, we're making money, and you know, if I keep doing hay for a while, doing hay contracts, I don't have to buy anything else, right? And so I should really start seeing some of that some of that money coming in, but um, and I probably will maybe keep doing hay contracts. But the thing is, is here, let's get inside the cab because it's way quieter. Uh, the thing is, is I want to get started with e some land, you know, uh, our own land. And, you know, we can't afford to buy a lot of it at first. So we'll, so I'll probably still have to do hay contracts in, you know, in the meanwhile. But uh, th I really want to get going on the land now. I I'm excited to do that. So. That is going to be for the next episode, though, you guys. It's still only 11.30. We need to actually go back to Mama Joe's and have some lunch. We've been working hard, man. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to go back to drop this trailer off. Uh, I did talk to um, Frederick. Frederick's the owner of the, uh, you know, of the equipment shop. And um, I asked him if, if it's okay if I keep my stuff there for a little bit longer, and he said a little bit longer, but he, you know, they don't want me to keep it there forever, which is understandable. So we've got to get our own place so we can move all of our equipment onto our own place. So that's just another reason why we got to get that going. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go drop the trailer off at Frederick's. I'm going to go uh, get some lunch at, uh, I almost said Big Mama's, <laughs> at Mama Joe's. And then after that, um, we will start the next episode. And we're going to look around for some property for us to buy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I did. I, I did a little better today. Still wasn't perfect. Still not pro. But better than yesterday. Y'all got to admit, if you watched yesterday's episode, um, we did a little bit better today. And and like I've already already said, we're, we can only get better, right? I mean, I suppose we could get worse, but we won't. We'll get better. And so, yeah. Um, had a lot of fun today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.